Hi everyone and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today, when y'all are seeing it, it's going to be Saturday. I'm filming this on Friday, May the 6th of 2022, and I'm coming at y'all today with a DITL Day in the Life vlog. I know a lot of you enjoy these, and so here we are um, vlogging today. And if you are somebody who enjoys my vlogs, Starting next week on Monday, going clear through Sunday, we're going to be doing something really awesome over here on the channel. It's going to be Week in the Life, which basically means there's going to be a Day in the Life vlog every single day for a week. So it's going to be really, really awesome. So you can look forward to that starting this Monday. You're going to see those vlogs every day at 6 p.m. Normal couponing stuff will go up as usual, um, 8 a.m. So it's going to be an awesome week next week. You're getting two videos a day instead of just one. So one vlog, one couponing. So it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited for that. I've missed vlogging. It's just, I don't know, I get in these moods. I've been watching the old vlogs and things, preparing for Vloon, thinking about Vloon, which is where I did Day in the Life vlogging in June. And didn't want to wait. So, hey, we're going to do a week in the life here in May to prepare us for daily vlogging in June. So it's going to be awesome. I cannot wait to share that with you guys. So anyway, what is going on today? Started out this morning, um, tried to get my Bible and prayer time in, which is good. Always good to get that first thing in the morning. Um, it's a struggle because I'm not a very morning person, but um, did that this morning. So that's good. Then came upstairs and my mom helped me to worked on dinner for tonight. Let me go ahead and show you guys that. All right. So we got dinner on the crock pot. Um, we made some vegetable soup. My mom helped me chop the potatoes and everything. Um, the rest of these are frozen vegetables. Why don't they make frozen diced potatoes? Because that would be so much easier. But got tomatoes, diced tomatoes, vegetable broth, green beans. I looked for lima beans, but I didn't see any in the... Um, pantry so whatever we've got enough vegetables here peas and carrots very very celery onion and i put some spices in it so i put like some thyme bay basil leaves um salt and pepper i feel like i put another spice in it too but i'm really excited it's just gonna cook for like eight hours and it's gonna be delicious i'm really really excited for that um so now it's like 11 or 8 a.m I am going to work on cleaning slash revamping my office area. It is a hot mess. I've been working on a lot of stuff in here. Um, and I just want to like redo it. It just sometimes changing how things are set up just makes you more inspired and motivated to work. So I'm going to get busy and work on this office. And when I get done, I'll give you guys a little mini office tour kind of of how my work area is set up for now. All right, so I managed to declutter a little bit, and it actually looks a lot better. I'm a lot happier with how my desk looks, how everything's all set up, and I think this is going to be a lot more functional for me. So let me give you guys a little mini tour. All right, guys, so here is my updated office tour. It actually looks really, really good. It's a little cluttered, but... You know, that's fine. I have a lot of stuff I need to have with me, so it works. I spend most of my time in my office anyway. So yeah, this is really important to be organized. So um, this side over here is really not that great still. I mean, there's still some, I mean, it's not horrible, but there's some clutter I still need to sort through, but most of it, I'll show you guys what I got done. So my Cricut, I, man, I really need to get better at using this thing. Uh, it is very intimidating in my opinion, but it is very cool. You can like do... Um, it's a cutting machine. I originally bought this for my Etsy shop, but I really didn't end up ever using it for Etsy. So it's kind of just sitting here. What I want to do is try to make my own planner stickers with it because I use planner stickers some, the functional ones. I don't like the girly designs. I just like the functional like stickers and I could make them exactly how I wanted with this thing. So I really need to learn how to do this, but kind of right now it's just sitting here. I keep all my tax receipts in this bin for next year. Um, I keep my diamond label maker. I love this thing. Really good investment to grab that. It was not that expensive. I keep my vitamins here because I need to have those in my face all the time and printer ink down there. And then this is a cart. I bought this cart. Uh, my parents got this for me at Joann's, but they have them at Walmart too, actually for cheaper, I think. But I got this at Joann's and I love it. Um, it's three tiers. So in this tier, I have project life cards. I've been trying to do, I don't really do the official project life. I actually just have a regular binder and I use photo pocket sheets or whatever. And I put pictures and I journal. I used to do daily journaling, but man, I fell off the wagon of that. So I kind of just do like a once a month, like here's what happened this month. And I do it project lifestyle. So I have a lot of project life cards. 
got some photo sheets back there. Um, I just have my iPad sitting here for now because why not? Um, rubber bands and the photo paper because I actually have an HP printer. I can print my own pictures on it, which is awesome. I keep some random pins in this thing. This is a pin cup from Ikea, but we don't have an Ikea near, so I bought it on Amazon. Planner stickers. Need to probably use all these up before I try to make my own. And then down here I have washi tape. Down here is Christmas stuff. This isn't the best, but it's fine. I don't really know where else to put it. So I have like all my Christmas decorations and Christmas cards and things. And this is kind of just like hoodies. I forgot I even had hoodies and shirts and stuff I got to get rid of. And then up here is where the real fun stuff is. So I keep my coupons over in this thing. My coupon inserts, I've not been really clipping them. I've just kind of been keeping them intact. So for now, this is where they are. And then this is awesome. Thank you so much to Melissa, one of my amazing subscribers. I mentioned how I wanted one of these um, dish rack things because I saw Jay Wackers a long time ago on Instagram. She posted a picture of um, how she kept her planners and notebooks in one of these. And I thought it was genius. And I couldn't find them at the store. But Melissa told me she had several of them at her house. And she was willing to send them, which was so sweet. She actually sent me four of them, which is so kind. Um, I got one of them here in use with my notebooks. So I keep my Project Life Finders, planners, notebooks, Bibles, all the things. This is a little bit of a hot mess, but I keep like checks and binder clips and paper clips and stamps and all this stuff. Um, up there, I kind of just keep mail. I need to look through that I haven't. And then up here, um, I have random like memorabilia stuff. So I have these Arthur cups and parent steam bear cups. I was so excited to get at the Dollar Tree. That's definitely childhood. So I was excited to grab those. Um, man, that's wild. Um, here I got a cup from church. I have an Ohio plaque. I got some random stuff. Count your blessings, not your calories. This little bell I want at the fair for trying the mechanical bull. I love this. Just like a little memorabilia wall. So I love that. Um, here is my daily planner. I've been seeing all these people with their Aaron Condren daily duo planners. And I really, really, really like that. In the future, I might get it. But it's really expensive and it doesn't even start till July. And so I was like, you know what? How many composition books do I have laying around? And so I made my own. And I'm actually really enjoying it so far. It's awesome. So that's great. Here I keep my weekly planner. I just have a faith planner, actually, but I Franken-planned it. Let me see. Can I show you this? Yeah, I Franken-planned it into a regular planner, so the lined, and then I have, like, a habit tracker up there, so I really, really like that a lot. And then I have my lamp, and I have my water, and my little Bible verse calendar when I remember to actually do it. And then here is my iMac. So I really, really love this. It turned out really nice. All right, guys, so... It's about a little after one o'clock now. So that was the office tour. Love it. Waiting on Katie to pick me up. She asked to go to lunch today. So yes, waiting on her. Hopefully she gets here soon because I'm starving. I come bearing gifts. Oh my goodness. Good Lord. I didn't even know this existed. Mm. Oh yeah, I don't have hardly any like uh, baby like soap or anything. So it's perfect. And lotion. I don't even know if I have lotion, if I'm being honest with you. So worked out. Oh, and there's, oh, bottle soap. Also, I don't have bottle soap. I didn't know that was a thing. Well, you have it now. <laughs> All right, so we are here for lunch at Tumbleweed, which is delicious. So, give them an update on the baby. Everybody's, well not everybody, but several people have been asking like, when's the baby coming? How are you feeling? All the things. Um, okay, so the baby is due on May 12th. And what's today? The 6th? Yep. Yeah. So soon. So less than a week. But if I don't go, then, then they're gonna induce me on the 21st, which is way too long. So she better come on her own. I feel horrible. <laughs> I've heard bird every night. 
despite probably not a good on... place to be eating for that but yeah you gotta live your life though uh so i'm excited for that to go away and yeah i'm just ready for her to get here my last day of work's the 11th so that'll be nice almost done and then i'll get 12 weeks maternity leave so sweet very excited so yeah our last outing I know. pretty much pretty because when the baby comes like it's getting real yeah i mean i can try to papoose her and go out to tj maxx but no. so we gotta live it up big today yeah. we have to get tumbleweed we can't worry about calories nope no we're not counting calories we gotta get no wits. calories on vlog day we gotta get wits and we have to mm. go to tj maxx all the all the things all the things all the things so back to enjoying this mm. all right done at tumbleweed Never disappoints. It was really good. Of course, she barely ate any of hers, but I ate. Of course, I ate all of mine and the chips and salsa. There's no room because of the baby. My stomach is small because of the baby. As soon as she comes on, I'm going to eat everything. Anyway, what are two now? Ice cream? Wits. Wits ice cream. It's going to be awesome. It's not ice cream. It's custard. It's Whatever. Custard. Whatever. <laughs> Wits. It looks like it's going to storm. It doesn't look very good. Don't want to repeat of that last storm, but ice cream time. Deliciousness. And yes, it's like I'm five years old and I get the kids one, but hey, it's less calories that way. So guys, I totally used this box of pads as a <laughs> tripod. <laughs> I did. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, we're redoing this again because... Katie was going around <laughs> spilling out personal information. <laughs> we are done at Wits. Did you like your Wits? Oh, what did you even so get? Good. I don't remember what you got. I just got chocolate with sprinkles, but it was... It's classic, but it's so good. It is. It's delicious. Man, traffic is nuts today. Yeah. Anyway, we are going to head to TJ Maxx. Yes. And since this is our last, like, shop vlog solo before the baby or whatever, you got to end this out right. You spent like five hundred dollars there one time. You gotta spend. You gotta top that. Was that. probably for Christmas. You gotta top that. I don't no. think so. I think you just went crazy buying stuff for yourself. That's happened many times. <laughs> so I think five hundred and fifty dollars. Oh my be fair. god. You're rich, so. I mean, it is easy to do at TJ Maxx. Yeah. You have to admit that. I actually, though, seriously, you spent that at one store. I bought myself new clothes a few weeks ago, and I didn't even come anywhere. I spent under five hundred dollars. Maybe. Like, Five or six different stores. Maybe you should top it. Maybe you should go out with a bang and spend five fifty. Uh, my bang for the month is like no more than a hundred dollars on myself for the entire month. Hundred dollars is nothing. Welcome to the real world with those of us who aren't rich. <laughs> the world where people are on a limited I'm, income. I'm not rich. I just treat myself. I'd be bankrupt if I treated myself that much. We're living that double income, no kid life, which is about to come about to, to an come abrupt About to come to a screeching end. halt. Yeah. Zola's on the way. Okay. She's going to eat up all of <laughs> Okay, that, that, well, that had to happen. The last... <laughs> you that, have to pull out so fast. Either. That last vlog, it had to happen. <laughs> we had to do the... It's going to do it again. We had to do... It's going to do it again. <laughs> It didn't go out. It almost did. It's fine. It almost did. I don't. The, just put the pads there. Oh my it's gosh. Fine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it had oh to do that God. because almost every vlog we've ever done that happens, I just edit it out. But I'm leaving it in this time. <laughs> I, I'm leaving it in because that happens uh, every single. Please don't uh, slide. Okay. No. Oh. oh no! Now we're about to go over some speed bumps. No. Okay. Okay. I'm not spending five fifty. We'll see about that. But anyway, yes. I'll spend five dollars and fifty cents. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I don't truly need anything, so I don't know. But I'm a sucker for like a good notebook. Oh yeah, you are. I have so many notebooks. And I was they have showing so them, many baby things. I was showing them my office setup today, and I'm using a notebook right now. And I, I don't know. I always feel the urge to get a fancier notebook or a different notebook, but trying to resist trying to resist so anyways we are almost to the mall and i'll vlog when we get there I'm gonna... jokes on us with our you buy kotex box sitting up in the window katie has to stop at the bank first thanks a lot excuse me my phone almost went out like she's got her window just oh, down it could have flew right out no because of this little thing that could have been that could have been tragic and of course there's a huge line at the bank apparently <sighs> thanks forgot I have to pick something up from the vet deal. But it's kind of on the way to the mall. 
It's literally on it's the street. It's kind of past it. Like but... it's the bank, the vet, and then there's a mall entrance right there. I'm gonna hurry things along here. Where you got to be? Uh, I got something to do. I have to go to Walmart tonight and film. It's three o'clock. It's three o nine. That's fast. It's three o six. <laughs> Still closer to three o nine. Okay, so Aldi's across from the bank, and Katie, tell him what did you just call it? <laughs> Aldi. <laughs> it's not called Aldi. <laughs> it's funny. It's called Aldi. Sometimes it's called Aldi. <laughs> Actually, I don't think it's called either of those. I think there's some like official term. Is it Aldi or something? I don't know. Everyone here calls it Aldi, or really, most people call it Aldi's. Yeah, you got to add the S because everybody here yeah. puts S's on. Kroger's, stuff. Aldi's. No one calls no it. One, no one says Walmarts. Actually, I know someone That's, I think who says Walmarts. That's too far. That's My taking aunt. it too far. Is there anything else we add an S to? Myers. We don't have one of those. JC mm. Pennies or, or yeah, Pennies. It's Pennies. just called JC Penny. Elder Beermans. Elder Beermans. Sweet Frogs. It's just Sweet Frog. I don't think I ever call it Sweet Frogs. Hot Heads. It's just Hot Head. Really? Yeah. It's so weird, but. Chipotle's? No. No. <laughs> I'll die. That's disturbing. <laughs> I'm starting to think we're never going to TJ Maxx because now like Katie's listening to this creepy weight music and also doing the robot and we're waiting at the vet because they won't let anyone inside still because of COVID or whatever. That whole music was good. No, it wasn't. It was like a psycho movie. I, I enjoyed it. Well, I didn't. I liked it. Repeat what you just said. You gotta have the want to. <laughs> you do gotta have the want to. And repeat what you said before that. What I you said this is taking a lot longer than you expected. It is, but it's it's literally it's like three fifteen. Like just call. It's three twenty two. That's hurry fast. it up. That's fast. Hurry it up. TJ Maxx. So they got no carts, which it's means fine. you can't buy much. Okay. Mm-hmm. You'll find a way. I think she already found something. Get it. It is only $6, though. But I don't need it. Small victory. Small victory. This is interesting. Monopoly milk chocolates. Like, are the properties chocolate? Yeah, 32 milk chocolate game pieces. <laughs> that is interesting. Didn't think this was going to happen. I'm the one spending the money. Mm -hmm. But olive oil can be really annoying when you're like having the big, we tend to buy the big like bulk pack or whatever, because it's cheaper. And so if you have this, you can just like drizzle it and you could measure out a tablespoon or whatever. So I think this, I think this might be coming home with me today. That's a lot that's of a water. That's a lot, that's I mean, a lot. I do need to drink a lot of water, so that's a good thing. But... Could you imagine carrying that thing around though? That'd be really it's weird. 50 ounces. Sheesh. I think this might be the smallest cutting board I've ever seen in my life. That is crazy. Look at this. There's clearance. And then we look down this aisle and it's all clearance too. It's a lot of clearance. A lot of clearance. That's fun. What are crazy noodles? I don't like that. Someone just straight up left their pizza in TJ Maxx. Half eaten. Ooh. How long has that been there? It kind of looks discolored. They kind of are. So literally all I got at TJ Maxx is this olive oil can. And all Katie got was a bottle of water. I'm trying to stay hydrated. And I think I'm going to get a water too. But we did pretty good. Actually really good. All right. So we came to five below. And looking for gifts. I got almost everybody's Mother's Day gifts done. But my other grandma... I'm going to give her a gift card to Walmart because I know she would appreciate that. But I wanted to give her a couple tiny little things to go along with it. And she's like a cat obsessed person, like literally. So I got her this little cat change purse. I think she'll like that. And then I also got her these little stickers. She can just like put on the back of, you know, letters or whatever. Because she is old school and doesn't have a computer. And mails out all her bills and things. So she can put it on the back of her like letters and cards and things to seal it. So I don't know. I think this is... Some nice little gifts. And Katie's actually the one who found both things. So thank you very much. Oh my gosh, guys. What would you do with this little baby notebook? Like, what could you do with this? I'm intrigued. I really am intrigued. I just don't like what you do with it. It's so cheap. It's $2.97, but what would you do with it? I don't know. But I almost want to find out something to do with it because I want it. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, my grandma is going to adore this. Home is where your cat is. She is gonna love this, cause like I said, she's cat obsessed. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this to put all her stuff in. I'm just gonna put her gift card and her card and the change purse and stickers. And I'll probably just put some like little stockpile things in here too. Um, and that'll be a good Mother's Day gift for her. So officially, no, I still gotta get my mom's gift card, but officially done really with the most of the shopping. I can't believe you. She was making fun of me because I was upset that I only had a 10% off coupon for this bag. And she was like, it's $2.59, you don't need a coupon. You always need a coupon. No, I need them. Always. I did use a 10% off, so I guess that's better than nothing. A penny safe is a penny earned. Oh yeah. All right, so sadly I can't use a coupon on this, but that last gift for my grandma is these little cat socks, $2.99. I'm not too happy. The socks rang out for a little bit more money, but since it's my grandma's gift, it was like, okay, I'll pay the dollar more. It's okay. I guess you should have had a coupon. She tried. It didn't work because it was oh. a door buster or something. But anyways, all right, Kay's going to drop me off back home. So tell him goodbye. Bye. I don't know when you guys will see her again, but probably I'm baby time. Baby probably baby time. Baby Next time you'll see the baby because she already told me we can show the baby on camera. So thank you. Anyways, yeah, so she's gonna drop me off home and I'll catch up with you guys when there's actually something interesting to share. All right, guys, it is almost five o'clock and I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and call this one a vlog. I edited it all together. It actually looks like it's over 22 minutes long. So pretty sweet, quite a bit of footage to share with you guys on this one. So anyway, um, not a whole lot else vlog worthy tonight. I have to go to Walmart to do my video. And other than that, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this one a vlog. I really hope you all enjoyed this and thank you so, so much for watching.